So I'm finishing up the new uh, Dragon West Vocal and the Dragon West Pi 64 and also a build for uh, the Nano 2 and 4G. So I'm trying to make them all very similar. But uh, while I'm doing that, I was testing out something. I finally got something uh, working with uh, uh, Sig Digger. I know I've shown uh, WSJTX and FT8 with uh, numerous other uh, ways of um, using it, but um, with this, I, I thought it was kind of unique. Uh, we're going to use a Raspberry Pi that's sitting somewhere else on the network. Uh, it's actually uh, this here. We'll just uh, SSH into it, and we're going to run uh, the headless uh, Sig Digger. Basically, it's a SUS CLI tool that will run on the Raspberry Pi, and that will do all the digital signal processing on the Pi and we'll shoot the audio across the network and then uh, decode it with uh, WSJTX and SIG Digger on the laptop that is here. So, um, <clears throat> uh, you can read up on WSJTX uh, and FT8. Uh, just do a quick search on that. You can get real familiar. Um, you can get more sophisticated with it, but uh, we're just going to get it uh, up and and running here uh, for those that like uh, ham and and uh, other people out there. So I'm going to SSH the Raspberry Pi default username is uh, Ubuntu and Dragon and the new Pi 64 build is going to automatically uh, expand the SD card, generate uh, uh, new SSH keys and have a unique uh, machine ID. So uh, I've, I've checked that. That seems like it's all taken care of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got a 60 some gig um, <coughs> uh, SD card in there, so that expanded. And so, anyways, let's see. So I've got a HackRF uh, plugged into the uh, Raspberry Pi. That's another thing. Dragon OS uh, has the firmware version 2021.03.1. Well, my HackRF does, uh, and that's what you will need to have loaded uh, to use it uh, really with uh, Dragon OS uh, the way it should be used. So, all right, uh, let's see. So, we're going to run a tool here <coughs> SUSCLI, and I have a matching version of Sig Digger on both the Pi. Well, all the Dragon OS builds I, I want to match. Um, which, by the way, if you ever want to update in the future, at least for Sig Digger, if you look in the user source directory, uh, right here at the top, you'll see there's a script BLSD. If you run that with sudo, which I'm not going to right now, that will build the latest uh, Sig Digger on both the uh, well, all the Dragon OS builds, I'm trying to leave that there so it will build. So you can make sure if you ever want to keep updated, you need to match it across the all the different uh, systems that you're going to be using it on if you want to connect from one to the other. It'll put it in the BLSD directory and uh, <clears throat> the desktop shortcut is pointed at uh, under ham radio. Is pointed at those... Uh, well, it should be. Anyways, it should pull up Sig Digger, so we'll check that here in a second. But anyways, we want to create a profile on the Pi. We'll do make uh, profile here. It should recognize the HackRF. And we'll generate a profile. I think that'll set about a 1 meg sample rate by default. If you want to change that, it tells you right where you can change it. in the sources.xml and you can see yeah it looks like bandwidth and sample rate are one meg if I see enough zeros there see the starting frequency you can change some settings there uh, or maybe it's this one here actually uh, hacker f1 yep mess with the gains so that's if you want to manually um, change settings because the sample rate is something you need to set in the config file. It's not going to let you change it from the uh, GUI once we get this up and running. So the other settings we can change, but the sample rate I know you need to change here. Alright, so now that that's generated, 
let's start up the server like this you can either put the IP address which is probably recommended I'm just gonna put 0, 0, 0, 0. start that up all right and this is on the happening on the Pi and I guess I could have um, made it less confusing by just switching over to the Pi desktop but this is the Pi that we are SSH'd into. So the HackerF is also plugged into a um, U-Loop antenna and it's out here by the uh, by the window. So now on the laptop end we'll open up SigDigger And if it ever opens up where it's uh, kind of off of the screen when you first open it up, especially if you have a smaller monitor, you can just uh, you know, right click and maximize or resize and you know bring bring things you know, where you need it to be. So I'll move this over a little bit. We need to see the hacker F is being uh, announced on port 28. 002 so let's come here and we'll change the analyzer type to remote I'll leave the user and I won't mess with any of that anonymous uh, we'll just change the IP address should be the pi and we want to connect to the hacker F so 28002 and hit run we see we've got uh, a connection here and let me think so something else we'll bring up is under ham radio WSJTX I won't even do anything with um, virtual audio cables or whatever we'll just use pulse here but it'll be a little noisy here because the sound will be coming out of my speakers as well but file settings if we look under audio, all I did was change the input and output to default. Uh, decode, I think I did click enable AP, but it's on deep mode FT8. We'll look at the 40 uh, meter band here, 7074. So, also got uh, this in the background. Let's see. things all over the place eh, something like that all right uh, let me think here in this over a little bit Turn on the uh, baseband audio. Uh, let me think. So, lower side band. Turn the volume down for a second. And we'll take this down to uh, 7. and make sure you're actually on it here seven seventy four you're probably gonna need to Uh, all right, so I'm back. I cut quite a bit out. Uh, I had to flip between um, LSB and USB. Uh, what ended up uh, working right now is uh, USB and um, the gain settings so I can hear that uh, audible um, tone that I usually 
uh, here for WSJTX or when I'm messing with uh, this anyways and then of course you got the wide graph up top you can move around um, and lock in on uh, let's see uh, particular um, a signal there so uh, I'm just happy to see it working now this is using a sig digger uh, well graphically here on the end I'm getting the audio from the Raspberry Pi that's running the headless sig uh, sig digger instance there and is doing all the uh, DSP there and really it's uh, uses very little bandwidth I think compared to a uh, soapy uh, remote or uh, even RTL TCP uh, sending over so just a little getting used to because of the rig control server is not uh, necessarily in use on, on sig digger so just kind of manually setting some of the settings and then uh, you could use a virtual audio cable but I'm just using the uh, pulse audio uh, itself and the uh, default uh, like I showed under the uh, configuration for the audio there so alright so, um, again I figured while I'm testing all these different things on the latest Dragon OS and uh, now that I see this uh, uh, connection with SigDigger working pretty well I figured I'd uh, share this for anyone interested in uh, uh, doing this and you can do you don't necessarily have to use uh, WSJTX you can you know use all the different modes of uh, SIG digger for FM, AM, LSB, USB uh, to feed audio over uh, from from remotely uh, to local to do other uh, ham applications or really whatever you want to do. So, all right. Uh, thanks.